Well, good gravy. How are you feeling now? Did you feast upon the flesh of the succulent flesh of these lesser creatures? Are we sad as no, no one's going to die of starvation now? Especially when I am your host, Get Good Fox, who definitely doesn't allow people to die of starvation. <laughs> Never would happen. Yes, we're playing some more oxygen not included space out. And I believe we are going to be changing some things. That's right. I have changed my mind. We are going to... I, I need to build a power station. And the power station is going to be located here. So what we're going to do is relocate some of this stuff. I need basically, I need a little more room for some things, and I've decided that this is going to be where it's at. So let's get this started and speed up to the max. So the power station is going to go down here, and I need this room over here for the power transformers, and that's why all of that is going to go. Very nice. Okay, everything over here is looking pretty good. I also want to get a little more space over here, so we're going to start cutting into there, mainly because we also need the algae, but one thing at a time. So the answer is um, you are going to get this, and now you're going to lose auto wrangle. No critters allowed in here. So that's going to cause these to get auto. These are going to get auto wrangled into there. And that'll allow us to just rearrange it. Nothing to it. We just gotta be a little patient. You know, just let it, let them auto-wrangle, let them get all that stuff going. There we go. Get it in there. We got this. Nothing to it. Get all of those in there. Also, that is gonna be a problem. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so that's gonna need to be a thing. Well, we can worry about that later. Not a big deal. It's too big. That is one of the problems. One thing at a time, though. Okay, so you guys are eating metal ore, copper, and these are doing smooth hatches, copper, smooth hatchling, copper. There we go. Copy, paste, and um, you're supposed to be three. And let's add one of these here so that that little red thing disappears and it stops being a huge butt. Okay. We need to do this as well. Well, we don't need to go through that. That's fine. Oh, darn it. We put it in the wrong spot. Right now, we don't need anything. Oh, I'll take the coal. Coal is power. Power is good. Okay, we need to cut into here. It is pretty hot up there, but, you know, what can we do? Let's just get into there. I guess I can also do this. This is going to let some of this oxygen out of here, which is also fine. This oxygen is pretty cold, so like it does have the advantage of uh, adding a little bit of coolness. Maybe I shouldn't be doing that, though. Maybe I should actually be doing insulated tiles. I can always deconstruct them at a later point in time. It's not that big of a deal now that I think about it. Okay, we don't need this here anymore. Where did all my hatches go? Here, get the hatches out of here. I want the hatches out of here. Put the hatches in there. Do it. Yeah, I think we have enough food. You know, I, I might have overcompensated a little bit, but yeah, you know what? One thing at a time. I need a tile here, and I need one of these here. And also, I need one of these here. Come on, let's get this built. We got this. Get, get, you get out of here. You're not supposed to be in here. You're gonna be above three. Don't count eggs. 
All right, no, you can count eggs. It's fine. What are you guys eating? Sandstone? Okay, that's fine. Okay, so far I think everything is looking pretty good. We can uproot all of these, and probably all of those, because we need to change these tiles out. And that can go too. And this can also go. No, no, don't remove that yet. Copy here. I want. We need to move these creatures out of here. They shouldn't be here. I want to change my priorities a bit. I would like our ranchers to focus more. Well, they are focusing heavily on ranching. I want you to focus on ranching more heavily. Like, we need to get some of this done a little bit faster. That would be great. Oh, I can't delete these manually. That kind of stinks. That means I'll have to punch holes in them slowly. So don't don't worry about uprooting them. We're just gonna have to deconstruct the tiles. And then what I can do is replace the tiles. Kind of annoying that you can't actually build onto those. That would simplify things a good bit. So why aren't we? Oh, that's the problem. Okay, I see what the problem is. These guys don't have a place to go. I see. That's the issue. Now we can remove these. So this is going to be where the power plant goes, and over here, this is going to be where the power transformers go. Like I said, I've really been dragging my heels on the power transformer because it's kind of a pain to set up, but... Oh, there comes a point where you just have to be a responsible designer and get it done. So one thing at a time. It's so much. I'm kind of afraid to get rid of all the food on the basis that... I don't want to run into a food crisis again. Algae is about to hit below, but once we complete this, I will have other building orders for them. We'll start strip mining that one area. That'll be fine. Tedious to rebuild this, but as long as everyone focuses on their task, it'll get done. Looking pretty good so far. We still haven't moved those hatches, I see. We definitely need a second operator, too. I'm pretty convinced of that now. Okay, we definitely... You, you need to... She's trapped over there. You gotta build this. Do it now. There we go. Okay, you can destroy these. And that. There we go. We've almost finished it. Okay, now we just, just build this floor up for me. That's all I need you to do. Do, do it now. Do it now! Okay, so Psychosomniac is not going to run out of oxygen. Oh, sweet. Wait, why did those get... Oh... Okay, let's put the auto-sweepers back on. Okay, I, kinda, I want these done, like, now. Like, it's very important that these are done now. Like, I'm finally... I am, I am growing impatient without it. Cancel. We don't need that piece. Make all these, like, very high priority. I want it done now. Now! Except the door. The door can be 
the door can remain a five. Do it now! And we can just, um... We'll make it everything, I think. Everything? All? Let's just leave it as critter eggs and... Consumable ore for now. How are we doing? Okay, now we're actually... Okay, there, there we go. That was the key. Macronox just needed to know that this was the main thing that needs to be done. It takes a very long time to build these because they are rather technical. Let me go ahead and copy this over. Copying the settings over and then you'll get to see finally what it does. There we go. Shove them in there. There we go. And it's finally working. And then it's going to dump the eggs right into the water. That's exactly what I want it to do. That doesn't need to be there. What is this? Wait, 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 stop. This shouldn't be there. Don't. Stop it. That's not supposed to be there. Put this here first. There we go. And then that. And make this priority nine. There we go. Also, apparently this shouldn't be there. That needs to be replaced. We got it. Look at it. Look at it. This now they're, this is all the coal. They're 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 basically because remember they poop coal, so they're sweeping all the coal out. I don't know if I really want the coal on the in the water, but for now it's gonna go into the water. Oh look at this! This is amazing. It's just sweeping all of it up. It's so good. It's just gonna clean all of it up. Oh I love it. Look at this. It's getting the eggs. All of it is just going. All of it is just getting dumped into here. Oh it's just. I love seeing it's beautiful. It's so good. I love it. Oh man. Oh, this can be trimmed away. Now I kind of, you know, you know, I'm not super thrilled about the uh, the coal going down there, but you know what? I I can fix that in the future. Okay, we need electricity. So let's go ahead and go like this. And then we can copy and paste. Why have I still not gotten these? Get these. Get them. And transfer them over. To here. Wait. Both of the hatches. Get them and move them up. Like, what is so hard to understand about this? It's not supposed to be a rocket science. Also, it looks like we can punch a hole in there and add a new window, a new wall in. Just more ways to get in and out of the base. Good. So this is going to be different. You're going to pick up not consumable ore, but you're going to pick up refined metal. Refined metal, there we go. So there it is, it's gonna start sucking up all of the refined metal, because remember, the smooth hatches poop refined metal. So this is a priority seven. Okay, they just haven't gotten to it yet. Is they just, uh, we're just trying to, it's like good gravy, when you're just trying to straighten things out, right? You, you all need to like, I can't, we can't have any creatures in here. Nothing is allowed in here. Everybody out. Auto wrangle the surplus. Wait, there we go. You all can stay there. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. Yep, get them out. All of them need to get out. They can't be here. Get them all out. Wrangle them all. Oh, I didn't even see this. Joyous seeds, nice. Joyous seeds are great. Okay, so apparently these are too cold. Is there a reason we haven't gotten to uprooting these? It's probably because we, we currently have too many tasks. That would be my guess. What can I put in here? Probably briar seeds. Let's plant a bunch of briar seeds.
So why aren't they getting these? You know, what are they doing? Let me pause and see. What is your objective stack? Wrangle. Okay, wrangling is your new thing to do. Harvesting the thimble. It's probably, you know what I bet it is? I bet there's just so many gardening tasks that they just don't have the time to do these things. I probably need to bump their priorities up. And then they'll do it. There we go. Get them out of here. Get them out of here. There we go. Get them out of here. Wrangle them up. Maybe these should be like higher priority. Maybe I need them to do these first. Get them out of here. No, don't wrangle that. Come on, get them out of here. There, okay, good. Now they're starting to transport them. And they're just going to get him out of here. He, look at him, he doesn't look happy. He's like, this dumb. Why do I not dumb? There we go. Okay, we're making it happen. It was, I think it was a priority issue. But smooth hatches can be here as well. The excess smooth hatches can go there. I'm perfectly fine with that. I, I'll, I'll permit it. This can be deconstructed. We need some ventilation. Okay, so can we finally get to building the power plant? That would be awesome. Okay, so the power plant is probably gonna need two generators. That's what we'll start with. And... Normally, I would put the batteries on a separate floor. I will probably do that in the future. But what we're going to do is... Let's build a station. Power control switch can go here. And then we can build probably two coal power plants. We can build more as it's necessary. Probably leave a little bit of space between them. Now the key though is we don't want to hook them up to anything yet. Like while we're building the power plant. So one of the biggest problems with these kinds of power stations is that they really, really kill your decor. And that's because these heavy duty wires are really, really ugly. Like, the duplicates, they think they look like garbage. So let's go ahead and get started, and we're going to build, like, a power generator station. We'll probably just put them right... I need to leave a bit of room. I guess we can start with two? And then what we'll do is build the transformer. We need the basic transformer. Yeah, this is the standard transformer. And I want them to face in this direction. I want there to be enough room to move, so I think I'm going to put them like right here. And then it's basically going to look a little bit like this. I need to build a prototype first. That's kind of step one. Kind of giving an idea of what it's going to look like. This is going to need to be deconstructed. We need to remove these. Because we need to make sure we're blocking the decor losses. So we're going to replace them with uh, mechanized doors.
Looks like a Pip got stuck there. Let's go ahead and free him up. That will let him out. And now we can rebuild that. And then we can deconstruct these. One thing at a time, though. We're getting to it. I wonder if I'm, I'm not, I might be making a mistake here. Let me see how the, um... Okay, that is allowed. Oh, I made, I did make a mistake. We have to cancel this. I need, I don't have enough room for the heavy wire. Okay, we need, we, we need a little more space than this. Oops. Let's go ahead and wire these up so they open up faster. Okay. Oh, no! Here, just put that there for now. Okay, so basically, you, you, this is like, this needs to be done like now. It needs to be done like now. Now! Now! Is there a reason you are not doing this now? Now! Okay, so it needs to be three spaces, basically. Which means the power station's gonna go here. It's gonna look kinda like this. Let's reconnect that, because like, the, the doors are just opening way too slowly. So this is going to look super ugly. Let's look at our decor. Ooh, man. Super ugly decor. As you can see, it's super, super ugly. That's why we're shutting these walls down, because it just looks super ugly. And they're not going to be happy about it. Okay, so... They're just going to have to be unhappy about it for a little while, though, because there's not, there's just nothing we can do. They're just gonna, It's just going to have to look ugly until we get it built. So the heavy watt cable is going to go like this. And then these are going to look like that. Is this... Okay, it's a little too far. Well, that's not entirely true. I, do I really want to do it? That I don't want to do it that way. I think that's stupid. That's probably that's probably stupid. I, I mean, when I prototype it, it will know. Um, power transformer, flip it around, because I could put it here, but then I no, that's that's a super dumb idea. What am I doing? And they'll just plug into it like this. And then they would connect like that, and they would connect like this. They'll connect like that, like that. Okay, and that's what the Transformers should look like. There we go. Get them all plugged in there. That's what I like to see. Okay, so let's keep going. Um, we need... Heavy watt wire would go from here. Is that also not going to work? Did I make another mistake? Oh, I did not know it could go through like that. Okay. These need to be turned off. 
I'm not crossing any electrical wires, am I? I don't think so. Deconstruct and we'll play, replace this with a mechanized airlock. Like so. Next we will need automation wires. Fifty. Copy paste. Uh, turn the this this doesn't need to be on. Turn just turn it off for now. We're not actually gonna use it. This is off because I don't actually want to use anything. Next we're gonna need these. And we're gonna need these. So these are gonna basically feed the, um, these are gonna feed the coal in. Copy and paste over here. Copy and paste over here. Uh, let's check our blueprints. Uh, we'll just take the shine nymph. Once again, not trying to mess around with anything. Let's go ahead and replace those. Okay, I believe we can turn this system on. Let's go ahead and I believe this system can be allowed to be turned on. We want to see if we can successfully... This is the first test run of the new power system. We are going to try to successfully energize... the batteries. Okay, we are energizing and it looks like the power transformers are energizing. They, yes, so they're each, each of these have a battery of their own. And we are at full. Okay, so batteries are energized. Now what we have to do is bridge these with a wire bridge so that we, we need to make sure they must not at any, at all costs, they must not get tangled up with the heavy watt wires. They must always remain free of those heavy watt wires. Okay, this is gonna fry the system probably if I do this, but we will be need to be, we will need to disconnect it over here and then straighten out all the wires basically. and then connect this over here. So first let's get all the system connected up and so that we don't fry anything. Okay, how are we looking? So this wire bridge skips over so it doesn't connect to the heavy watt wire. The heavy watt wire must not be connected to the, um, this thing here is necessary. This thing lets, basically heavy watt wire cannot go through walls. So this allows it, this is a specific block used to allow it to go through walls. Okay, and now if you're not, if you're not understanding why I'm doing this, I will explain it. But now what we need to do is sever all the connections floor by floor. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And now what we're going to do is run these wires like this. And connect them floor by floor. You can get disconnected. Bam, bam, bam. There we go. Connect that up. Let's just make sure everything works, then I'll explain what it does. Okay, so I think everything's working now. So the way this system works is, remember, wires have a certain load that they can handle before they fry, and it's a thousand watts for a standard wire. What the power transformer does is allow us to build, the power transformer essentially allows us to take a single source of power, in this case it would be the um, these coal generators. Now normally, if all of the circuits were on one coal generator, they would rapidly fry after they hit 100 watts. Well, the coal generators feed the power into the smart batteries, right? 
The smart batteries then feed the power into these transformers. The transformers have a bat an in in their own internal battery of a hundred, a thousand joules, and what they do is they split the electricity up. So this power transformer splits its own 1,000 watt frying level. This transformer has its own. So this, you can see right here, this one says it's potential load is 650 watts. This one says the load is a 600 watts because it has separate systems on it. This one has 600 watts. This one has, this one could fry at 1600 watts. And that's because all of these systems are now independently connected to these. And we can run them all over the base like this and separate the entire base by electrical output, which would be really, really handy. Now the downside is that these will get hot over time. They produce about a thousand DTUs, which over time is gonna, you know, it's gonna heat this up. It's not the worst, but it's definitely not great. It's not, it's gonna become, over time it will become a problem. So what we're gonna try to do is, if possible, create a heat shield. And probably also around here too. Because this area is going to get a little bit on the hot side, and I don't want... I'd like to trap the heat in here, and we can find a way to deal with the heat at a later point in time. But yeah, it's going to get a bit... it's going to get hot. That's, that's my main point. It'll get hot. And we can use ice and a variety of other things. So the reason why this needs to be three wide is because, um... Oh, I guess I was... I guess that was incorrect. I guess these wires can go behind, so... The build is, I, I could, I guess I could deconstruct it again and, you know, redo it a little bit. Because I didn't know that the heavy watt wires could go behind. I, I could, we, we can redo it. It's not that big of a deal. We will have some rolling brownouts before that's finished. But that allows them to move up and down the access area if necessary. In addition to that, uh, let's look at the decor. So you can see the decor over here is, it's not great, but it's way worse, way better than this area. And that's because solid walls and solid airlocks block decor. Whereas um, these ventilation, these like, you know, these doors allow the decor to pass through. So it's like, um, yeah, that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to prevent the ugliness from getting out, essentially. But what we can do is just deconstruct. We, we can do this in the next episode. So this is the beginning of the power plant system. The power plant system, uh, I guess I've been dragging my heels on it, but like we're at the point now where we're using so much electronics and machinery that it's kind of necessary. This is shut down because it eats refined metals, and I don't want to use refined metals for it right now. Like it, it boosts the output, but we don't need to boost the output just yet. It's perfectly, it's fine the way it is. In other words, anyways. The base is coming along. You know, we're getting, you can see we're getting a lot more advanced. And like, while I, you know, I was dragging my heels because I didn't want to plow through this area. We will plow through this area, suck up all of the gas, and get things going. And I think we will be ready for the space program very soon. Uh, actually, no. Ox oxygen is going to be our next problem. Anyways, let me know everything down in the comment section. Like the video, feel it's entertaining. Subscribe for future Oxygen Not Included content. And of course, remember that you don't have to be good to get good.